Uh, trailing by a single goal, Stellenbosch from South Africa still have a chance to extend their lead. Whereas the Blue Colts, they can make a comeback into this game by scoring a goal and got 35 minutes of footballing action in the second half. And 35 in minutes is more than enough to score not one, two, maybe three goals. But we don't know in which net those uh, goals will be nestled into. Participating uh, yes, in the in India. The one before the last one, in fact, uh, the last one oh, yeah, 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 yeah. played uh, in UK. The Bengal and Kerala being touring sides. Uh, a lot of excitement, of course, has been created around uh, with players and fans uh, wanting to watch their favorite teams. Uh, Oh, there's an attempt, not a clean one yet again. Not a clean one yet again. Uh, and the frustrations are evident, of course. Uh, the kind of challenges which have come in. We'll have to wait and watch. It's already yellow card earlier on. Uh, could this be another one? It's the same. It's the same uh, individual yet again. Abhishek Surya Wanchi. Actually coming clean on his uh, tackles there. Interesting uh, how West Ham, they've not really converted. There are three shots. Uh, in one on target in fact it's surprising for them uh, it's certainly not going to be a cakewalk for them to go on the 14th of may the final match played between sudeva delhi fc and the team you see in front of you right now in uh, the proud royal blue colors of bengaluru fc the champions going up against uh, the south african side and the champions of the south african next gen cup stellenbosch fc Bengaluru considering uh, one goal in the opening minutes of the game. And Stellenbosch 
They've been hunting for more. We've not seen a lot of play on the other side where the Stellenbosch goalkeeper standing there. Dijon Ashin, he hasn't been bothered. And here comes Stellenbosch once again. Sharon steps out and claims the ball right in time and rolls it over to Budrom Poising. Poising, if you remember, scored the screamer against AD Game on Bagan and got his team into the finals. And here comes Stellenbosch, looking very confident with the passing. Stellenbosch! The passing was great, the finesse was great, the movement was great. The final finish. Could have been more power there. Udrom Toysing. Uh, Bengaluru defenders getting familiar with the ball. Shigilund. Harpreet Singh. Here come Bengaluru once again. Shigil once again. All rolled out of play. And uh, Bengaluru. They're still in possession now. Harpreet Singh. Clarence Savio Fernandez. Launches it to the midfielder. Forty minutes up, and uh, for the tuners who have just joined in, this is not the first half. Two halves of 35 minutes each. It's a 70-minute uh, game of action-packed football. Stellenbosch uh, facing the Bengaluru side. Two champion teams from their respective nations. Bengaluru, newly crowned champions. I don't think uh, most of them have even settled down after the celebrations from the 14th of May. But knowing athletes, they put their shoes back on and the game face is back on. And Bengaluru, they need to use this game face to equalize because they're trailing. on the move again good pass but Harpreet Singh he's going to come in and uh, collect the ball oh good turn good turn this is some good footwork over here and the defense had to be top class and it had to be brutal and that is exactly how the forward over there was dispossessed fine defending there by Akshadeep Singh he has denied the South African uh, National player Antonio van Wyk. And now Stellenbosch. Big opportunity once again. Uh, balloons over the crossbar. It was a far way out. Even for the likes of Roy Keane. Roy Keane has uh, been a part of uh, the international side of South Africa. Bengaluru boys, they are obviously Indians, but I doubt anyone is used to this dreaded Mumbai heat. 36 degrees Celsius here at uh, the Reva Re Reliance Corporate Park here in Gonzoli. The Premier League Next Gen Cup. Ashikadikari. Adhikari passes it on to Akshadeep Singh. Oh, they have given away possession. The midfield for Stellenbosch has been in stellar condition. In fact, I don't think their goalkeeper, Dijon, has even moved a muscle in this second half. Kyle Jürgens on the ball, the skipper. And now, Antonio Wenfeich. Oh, poor clearance. Poor clearance. Can he make advantage? No. Sharon comes right there in time. 
And Ashik Adhikari, he gets the ball. The call from the middle is for Ashik to get it in. But he passes it behind to Harpreet Singh. A Bengaluru confidently moving the ball around in their defensive areas. But they've given the ball again. Just a little ambitious, that through ball. They were trying to find Antonio van Wyk. on the chase, Harpreet Singh coming there in time and dispossessing Challenge from behind. Fan White goes down. Movement once again from the Selenbosch side. You now their full backs getting involved in the game. Joanna De Jean oh, Selen Bosch looking so confident with the passing, with the movement, with the way they're playing with the ball, the way they're carrying it, the South Africans. Pass it back to Dijon. Joanna. And now here come Stellen Bosch. The Maroons moving forward and moving forward confidently. Bengaluru giving them too much room, too much respect. Will they be punished for it? Joanna with a cross. He has options in the middle of the crossbar. Wow! What a move that was and how lucky did Bengaluru get over there. Roy Keane was tall enough to tower over the defenders and head the ball. But he has headed it right onto the woodwork. But Stellenbosch, they're still in possession. Bengaluru taking too much time, not pressing the Maroons. And they're feeling the pressure. Ashik Adhikari. Harpreet Singh. And now Sharon, the goalkeeper, the skipper, the hero from uh, the finals and the semi finals. Semi finals against ADK Mohan Bagan, finals against Sudeva Delhi. The goalkeeper who emerged as a legend in the Reliance Development Foundation League by saving penalties left, right, and center in the tie breaking affair between uh, Mohan. Ashikadikari. Gets uh, Shigil involved. Shigil, the midfielder, has been in top form. But oh no, Sharon has called the game to a halt. Shigil rolls the ball out. And uh, there could be an injury on the field. And the players head towards the dugouts. It is indeed a hot day here in Mumbai. A scorching 36 degrees Celsius with the humidity. Not the most favorable conditions to play on uh, the hot rubber of an AstroTurf surface. But I think when these uh, footballers put their studs on, they forget about the weather conditions. For them, it's only the proud, tall, white goalpost. Still 1-0 over here. Clarence Savio Fernandez making his way out. 
the quick water break. And of course, the next gen cup. A stellar move in terms of uh, encouraging uh, grassroots development here in Indian football. Not just Indian football, football all around uh, the world. Bengaluru boys went into the dugout with the intention of a water break. I'm sure they have stepped out with the intention of a comeback, with the intention of battle. Bengaluru were behind not once but twice in the finals at the Reliance Development League against uh, Sudeva FC when they were playing the finals. They were 1-0 down. They equalized. They were 2-1 down. They equalized, they took it to the penalty shootouts, they won the league and become national champions in the Reliance Foundation Development League. Is it that pressure that is getting to them in this game? Because they haven't proven to be a threat to this South African side. Becky Oram. Ashika Dikari, Lindong, Ashik, has he stopped it? Yes, he has. Great control there by Ashika Dikari, the full back yet again, always at the top of his game, keeping the ball under control in such a tight condition. But eventually, the pass that was supposed to find a blue shirt has found a maroon. Harpreet Singh heads it into possession. Clarence Savio Fernandez. Becky Oram. Becky Oram was looking for Shigil. He misses Shigil. And he has given the possession back to the South Africans. Now, the Jean. Oh, yeah, they come, uh, but Harpreet Singh. A yellow card for Harpreet Singh. I don't think he was expecting that. And now, you, you, you wanna. Taking the free kick. But I think there are some substitutions coming in. Shigil is on his way out. And the midfielder has put in a lot of work rate. Becky Oram is on his way out. And the Bengaluru head coach, Kaisad Ambar Padiwala. Kasadamba Pardiwala, obviously, the head coach of Bengaluru in the development league as well. Oh, we saw him celebrate with the boys after they lift the trophy. After winning the penalty shootout. Kyle Jurgens, the skipper, finds uh, his national teammate Roy Keane. Roy Keane passes it back. Back to Kyle Jurgens. Jurgens playing in with his defenders, respecting Bengaluru, not starting an attack when there is no room for one. They're still finding that space. One through ball can cut this uh, midfield. Midfield slightly open for Bengaluru. Eventually, it was cleared out. Good pressure by the Bengaluru boys.
Yes, thank you, Pranav. Nice day here at the Reliance Corporate Park. It's the next generation cup 2023. Bengaluru FC taking, taking on the Stellenbosch FC. And that's a 1-0 lead for the South Africans. One goal by the Maroon Army. Possession right now with Bengaluru. Ashik Adhikari, a name you have heard a lot. Keeping positions over to the Africans. Can Bengaluru get the equaliser? That's the question. Ten more minutes remaining. Quick reminder. Two halves of 35 minutes each. 70-minute game. Can the BFC guys get the equaliser? Still, Bosch had the early start in the first half. Keeping position. The South Africans taking it nice and easy. Not the ideal conditions here at the Reliance Corporate Park when it comes to the climate here. 36, 37 degrees. The players are sweating. The drink break, extremely important for the players to keep themselves hydrated. Making sure that there are no cramps, no injuries. It's the day one of the Next Generation Cup 2023. Brought to you by the Reliance Foundation. Still in Bosch, the South Africans having an injury scare there. Meanwhile, we'll have uh, the referees going over and uh, checking if all's fine. With Van Wyk. Antonio Van Wyk there. On the ground. It's the day one of the Next Generation Cup 2023. Brought to you by Reliance Foundation. Match one, the Bengaluru FC taking on Stellenbosch FC. The first half, the boys from South Africa had an early lead. They're still 1-0 up in the 62nd minute. Eight more minutes remaining. Might have a couple of minutes more as the injury time as Antonio Van Wyk is taking his time. He's down on the ground. Back on his feet. Good visuals there. Is he continuing? Looks like. Does it look like there is any substitution planned? by the Stellenbosch FC head coach. He's limping, still doesn't look 100% fit. Meanwhile, the Bengaluru boys, the boys in blue, are desperate to get the match underway. They want that equaliser. It's the 63rd minute now. The boys in blue, can you get the equaliser is the question here at the day one. The Next Generation Cup brought to you by the Lions Foundation. As Antonio Weinweich makes his way into the dugout. Bengaluru boys giving away position. Good sportsmanship by the Indian team. The Bengaluru FC, Sharon, Ashik Adhikari, Harpreet Singh, Clarence Fernandez, Felix and Fernandez, Lingdor, Shigil, Oram. Singh, Harmanpreet Singh and Akash Deep Singh. Starting 11 for the Bengaluru FC. The Marooners keeping possession. Chance in the danger area. Well done there again. The Bengaluru skipper. Sharon. Keeping it nice and easy. Nicely handled. Another save. The Marooners back in at the danger area. Back in the D. All eyes on the skipper, goes for it, above the woodwork. Taking the chances, Stellenbosch FC. And allowing them to make chances for the defenders of the Bengaluru FC. Have a look at that again. Good right footer from Kyle Bailey. But that goes above. Bengaluru AFC looking for the equaliser. Desperate measures now, but it's the South African team on the attack. Chance, still a chance, but goes above. Two opportunities created there by the Stellenbosch FC. Again, fabulous toughness by Sharon. He's been the star for Bengaluru FC. Bengaluru boys all hail Sharon. They have conceded a goal. Can they score one now is the question. 
looking to keep possession. The ball needs to go in the other flank, boys, from Bengaluru if you need the possession and if you need the equalizer. Ashika Dikari. Back to Harpreet Singh. Harpreet taking his time, looking for the perfect cross. Over to Clarence Fernandes. They need to go to the right flank as soon as possible. Are the Bengaluru boys. In the meanwhile, Stellenbosch FC. They have the lead. The first goal scored in the first half. Plenty of attempt on goals in the second one. Just a few by the Bengaluru boys. But attempt on goals is something that doesn't matter. What matters is the goal line. The score line that still reads in favour of Stellenbosch FC. Reads 1-0. How long, Bengaluru boys, 66th minute. There you go again. On the attack are the Marooners. On the attack, Stellenbosch FC. Cleaned up. Keeping possession, still in the half here. Harpreet Singh. Back to Ashik. Back to Ashik Adhikari, stolen by the Marooners. Avantuk. Over to Andres. In the danger area. Charge left footer. A little wide. Far on the left of Sharon. And thus, again, an attempt on goal. But it's just not entering the nets. Sharon standing like a rock for the Marooners to score. Bengaluru FC on the right flank. Looking to score, looking to get the equalizer in the 67th minute. Three more minutes of play time. Might get four or five minutes of additional injury time. On the attack are the Marooners. On the attack, keeping possession. Passing it on to Avantuk. Back to Kyle Bailey. Over to jersey number 15, Andreas. Keeping position, taking it nice and easy. They have been aggressive from the word go. Are the Stellenbosch FC. Good stuff from the boys from South Africa. Can they maintain their lead? Can they extend their lead is the question. Passing, keeping position. That's the game, losing it. Can the Bengaluru boys get control of the ball? Can they get the equalizer is the question being asked. We are live on YouTube across the channels of RFIS. We are live on the Premier League and we are live on the ISL YouTube channel. Can get all the updates across our social media handles. The Reliance Foundation, Premier League Next Generation Cup 2023. It's a round one match. Kyle Bailey getting a nice pass back to Avantuk. Bengaluru boys taking possession. How long? Thoi Singh there. They need to keep possession, need to score. Desperate time. Call for desperate measures. Bengaluru boys. The Bengaluru Football Club down by a goal. As uh, they have uh, come across an aggressive Stellenbosch FC. Who've shown a stellar performance so far. Near the danger area. Near the danger area in the D. Gets the cross but does not get the desired company. They'll have to reload. Ame Moraskar passes it on. Does the cleanup job. Over to the jersey number 22. That's Shreya Sketkar. Over to Harpreet Singh. The Stellenbosch FC take it. They've taken the position there. Just half a minute remaining of the official play time. You might have some injury time being added on to this. Stellenbosch FC keeping position, taking it nice and easy. They're in no hurry whatsoever. 
We are at the Reliance Corporate Park in Navi, Mumbai. We're in the boys from Bengaluru FC taking on the boys from South Africa, Stellenbosch FC. The round one matches of the Next Generation Cup 2023. Bengaluru boys, you might just have a couple of more minutes. A lot of support on social media for the boys from Bengaluru. Are they going to get the equalizer? Will they get the first one? Keeping possession, jersey number 10. Amay Moraskar. Keeping possession, will they get one in the danger area? But taken over by Stellenbosch FC. Taken over, nice and easy, no troubles for them. At a time, five minutes, Bengaluru boys. Have a look at that, you have five more minutes. And that's a lot of time. Five minutes for you to get that equalizer and perhaps the lead as well. Back to Sharon, the skipper, the star for Bengaluru FC so far. Can he rally his troops in getting the first one? Are they going to get the first one is the question, is the Bengaluru FC. They're passing it on. Good stuff on the right flank there. No worries, no worries for Stellenbosch. Some aggressive play and that's what the time demands now for Bengaluru boys. Back to Sharon. Harpreet. Shreyas Ketkar. Back to Amay Moraskar. Keeping the possession, the boys in blue. That's not enough. You need to score. You need to score quick. As the boys from South Africa are in a comfortable position so far. Scored a goal in the first half. They have maintained their lead. Defended well. Not allowed the Bengaluru boys in their flank for a long time. And they have been on the aggressive mode from the word go. Harpreet Singh. Long ball there. Will he get the desired company? No, he doesn't. The Marooners have taken possession. Stellenbosch FC, 1-0. Still in the lead. Five minutes of added time. Two minutes counted for. Three more minutes remaining. Stellenbosch FC keeping possession. Nice and easy. No worries for them. That's what the time demands for them. Ethan Felix with the long ball on the attack now the Marooners on the attack chance once again all eyes on Sharon he's been the star he's the star 43 well done there he's the star for the Bengaluru FC Sharon boys in blue Freddy Harmanpreet Singh Back to Amay Moraskar. Amay Moraskar, can he get the first goal? In the 74th minute now, a minute and a half remaining. Boys in blue, desperate measures required from you guys to get the first one. In the meanwhile, the Moronas have been on the attack. The first half, taking it easy now in the second. Long ball, a wasting time. Can afford to do that. 0 to 22. Looking for a goal there. Good work there by Stalinbosch. Good defending. On the attack. On the attack. All eyes on Sharon once again. Roy Keane with the possession. With the left footer. Again, Sharon with the dive on his left. Does it neatly for uh, the Bengaluru Football Club. They need to score. He's been the star for the team from India. Ashik Adhikari. Harpreet Singh. Amay Moraskar. Looking for the cross. Looking for company. Does he get it? 
Ah, was that a little harsh? Was that a little harsh? Just a few more seconds remaining. Have a look at that again. Harman Preet Singh there. Corner. Last chance. The time says 75 minutes. Five extra minutes of injury time. That's it. So this has to be the last attempt for the boys in blue. Can they get the equalizer? Good cross. No. Let's see what the referee says. And that is it. That is the time. So match of the round one of the next generation cup 2023. Bengaluru FC taking on Stellenbosch FC. The Stellenbosch FC has scored the goal. They're 1-0 up. And that's it from the first match. Bengaluru FC against the Stellenbosch FC. The boys from South Africa have tasted victory in their first attempt on the match round one of the Next Generation Cup. We'll see you back after a short break for uh, the next matches of the Next Generation Cup 2023. Stay tuned in the meanwhile for all the updates on our social media channel. 